Algorand is on an absolute tear at the moment, guys. And we're going to dive into some technical analysis to see how much progress this coin is making and what to expect next. As we get into this video, guys, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here. Right. With that said, done that way, let's get into some technical analysis here for Algorand. We're going to start with this weekly chart, really just talk about what's been going on most recently. We can obviously see um, that we have got a high point uh, that was achieved earlier in the year. Uh, this was actually achieved back in February, right? Before we actually started to see a bit of turbulence, a bit of a pullback. We obviously see we wicked up quite close to this area of $1.84 previously. We can then see that we were coming back down a little bit. We obviously had the low areas, uh, triple tapping on the bottom area of this Fibonacci. This is basically where Bitcoin was turbulating, uh, basically messing around a little bit, uh, hitting the initial lows, moving back up, going back down, uh, moving up, then going back down again before we absolutely go on another tear to the upside. Now, the key thing for um, Algorand here was this yellow box area. Uh, this comes in at our 618-702-786 area. And um, once we got those out of the way, it was an on a an bit of a no brainer to go ahead and set up a, a new high up here, um, moving on towards our first price target. Um, so right now that target is $2.60, sorry, $2.56. That is the target that we are addressing here for the very first 1.618 target of, uh, of this Fibonacci retracement tool. Now, there's a couple of things we have to acknowledge. This actually goes all the way up to $5.62 on the full 4.236 extension. This uses the high that we had in February and the low of what's been called the fourth wave correction. This area is actually quite a key thing for us. Um, because this actually is just one of two possible scenarios. This scenario paints 175% um, push to the upside. But as we've seen with things like Solana, they can outperform this quite rapidly, very, very fast once traction starts getting going. So Algorand seems to be on a bit of a tear at the moment. We'll see if that's going to last. But I think, you know, looking at a 175%, that seems very, very realistic. And I think we were probably going to go and extend above that, which brings me on to the second Fibonacci. This one here actually runs from the high that we had up in all, uh, sorry, June of 2019 um, down to the low crash of March 2020. This one actually then shows us extending all the way out to $14.24. This particular level would actually be a position of 594%. This is more in line with what my expectations would be for this bull run. So if I personally would be happy between uh, the $5.62 and that $14 range, um, but obviously pay attention to these key Fibonacci areas once we go past potentially this 4.236 at $5.62. If we do resonate well with this Fibonacci on the left-hand side, then this is where I will be focusing my effort. And I do think that a 594% is very reasonable considering the, um, you know, magnitude of this project and what it is delivering. So watch this space. I think that's going to be an interesting one. Now let's actually dive down into our daily. This is where we start to actually see some of those things that are really strong and have been going on. Um, obviously, Bitcoin uh, made things a little bit turbulent yesterday, uh, or actually on Tuesday. Um, and then yesterday, we saw a really good run. So basically, on Tuesday, we saw a drop of 32%, pretty much in line with the majority of the altcoins out there. And we bounced right the way back up into this yellow area here, because we were previously getting rejected from that 702. Now, from here, we were actually surged right past the 786, right past the previous high, and we are continuing to move. Currently, at the point of recording this video, at $2.06 on this daily chart we are in just about in the overbought area but this is okay we can be sustained up here for quite some time when we take a look at what was going on previously and um, everything on Algorand here is looking pretty good and um, so this upward trend does in my opinion look like it's going to stick out as we head out towards some of these key areas here and um, we do want to compare obviously with where we are going um, and I think if we look at that wick coming in at uh, $2.20 that is pretty much just above our 618 area of our main Fibonacci on the left hand side here so again this is an interesting area that is resonating very well with Algorand. So we'll be watching for a little bit of turbulence here and we'll check out the hourly in a moment. Um, so overall, the fact that we are overbought, this can be sustained, but we will expect to potentially trade sideways around some of these key areas whilst we establish better technicals to take the next step to the upside. Algorand is performing very, very well and I think that's pretty clear to see. Let's actually jump down into our hourly on this brief update for Algorand and we can see that actually things do not appear to be wanting to slow down. And um, here we can see the motion, right? We push straight away through our um 
786 on the Fibonacci. The pullback to the 702, pushing then and confirming that as support allows us to then grow up here. And we had a good amount of growth coming to the upside. This allowed us to continue this growth in the overbought area before we had this small pullback back testing on the 786, turning the 786 area into a support line. This then meant we were oversold and we had another good surge to the upside. Again, nothing moves in straight lines. So we see a little bit of a pullback once we reach that $2.19 um, area. From there, we can see that this correction has brought us back down into the oversold area, meaning that we are likely now to continue growing and going even higher. Again, we obviously do have our Fibonacci retracement area of the 1.618 to be mindful of. And again, that target is $2.56. So we could see a potential $2.56 get hit within the next few hours here for Algorand as we continue the growth to the upside with our stochastic RSI and these candles. So again, I'm just going to quickly mark this up here on the hourly $2.56 with a horizontal ray. Let me just find that on the chart. It's approximately there. Okay, so this is our target. This is what we're looking for. We're looking to basically now take our candles in a nice motion to the upside to this area before having another correction, where we will probably test this previous area of um, resistance as a support line before potentially going past that area there. And um, if this continues this pattern, we could potentially be up in the overbought, oversold area rapidly um, and repeat the process and grow the price of Algorand in the next few days. And um, it doesn't seem to be wanting to slow down. So we'll obviously have to have a look at some other things in the space to see if there is anything underlined uh, in the data that should be concerning us. We'll have a look at the volume here. We can see that during this correction, the volumes have come down nicely. This helps protect the price whilst we correct our stochastic. So this is exactly what we want to see. And now we want to see that volume start to come back in as we push the price back up. So we'll be monitoring that situation. The other thing that we want to be keeping an eye on and be very mindful of is the Avai.io dashboard on the Algorand data. Obviously, Avai is artificial intelligence and machine learning and um, it removes all the human bias from the equations here and gives you the data as it sees it. Um, here with this as an A2 rating for Algorand, so very, very good, um, hasn't moved in the last 24 hours, even given the turbulence that has been going on with the crypto space. We can see that overall an A2 rating has been delivered from an AMI-HAD ratio that is A2, the fear and greed index that is extremely greedy. We have to be mindful of that. Um, the sharp ratio being an A2, so there is no risk to rewards uh, in terms of what this is indicating to us and um, basically well above the 50 day average and is right up there at one almost the second best uh you know rating that it can get from a risk reward ratio so sharp ratio is performing very very well we have moving averages again a2 no issues there profitability is the best it can be with an a1 and peak end value demand comes in at b2 overall there is no issues with the data no issues indicating anything that we should be worried about in the next little while here in the next 24 hours or so we'll be mindful to make sure that we check this every day on this particular tear, waiting to see if we can find the top using other indicators within our charts, using the Avai dashboard, and understanding what is going on with Bitcoin in terms of inflows, outflows, and of course the stock to flow model, making sure that everything comes together nicely to see Algorand push continuously to the upside. Overall, um, Algorand is performing well. I think it's going to continue to perform well on the small time sale. And I think long term, we're going to see some fantastic price discovery be set here for Algorand. This is a brief update, so hopefully you have found it useful and informative. If you have hit the like button, I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here. With this said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one.